Basically, this is what you want. If you're in South America, you're not, all the American apps don't have any trails on them. This is what you want. You want Wikiloc, amazing. All right, let's, uh, let's try to get out of here without knocking out and over any bikes. All right, just, vamos por allá. And uh, here's our buddy, Leonardo. Eh? Ah, see? Sí. Look at these gloves. I am so psyched about these gloves. Si más adelante cogemos ya la vía, pero mira que está lloviendo porque vamos para allá. Okay, so we're going up there and it is snowing, raining, thunderstorms, hailing. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe just a little bit of rain. No, no. no we're gonna get a bite to eat somewhere around here. I guess right here, this is probably the only restaurant in town. Esto es maíz. Maíz? Maíz. Estos son habas. Habas. Sí. Y queso. Y queso. Interesting. Pues muy bueno el maíz acá. Oh, there we go. Love this country, man. Ecuador is growing on me. The only thing I don't like. Well, trying to get out of the city, which is pretty much like that everywhere. The only thing I, you can, can actually complain about as a motorcyclist is you gotta do the tolls. Not so much about paying this one. It's actually really cheap going through. It's like 20 cents every time you go through, but still it's just annoying. You have to wait in line and you can't pass through like in Colombia. And we're Oh yeah. We are in the wilderness. So cool, I love this canyon, it's super sick. Look at that. Water everywhere, even on the road here. Wonder what's up with all these colored rocks. Wonder if they're, what's that all about? A little thing that was up, like a little road across that? Huh, crazy. Now the rain is really coming down and the road's getting pretty slippery. So it should be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't get you crazy. I'm getting pretty wet. My face is getting wet. I love this new helmet. Only drawback is I guess in times like this, you get a little your face does get a little wet when it rains. Well, well, well. We don't have any machetes, so. Uh. Okay. Part of the deal. We're in Ecuador. Super slippery though, these branches. There was a section where I went over that red, so I barely see out these goggles. I got the goggles back on. Super cloudy. Barely see anything. Just past the really gnarly section, it was like tons of this red bricky whatever stuff is. I don't know what they're doing. I guess that's they're trying to fix the road at some point, but that that's just like making it really, really nasty. Hopefully I don't have too much more of that. I almost felt like I was in God's hands for a second there. So please don't let me go down. I was like holding my breath. Like, uh oh, this might be it. All right, my bag is in the back. Because I lost my shoes, my bag is swimming all over the place and I should probably stop and tighten it down. It's really annoying how it's keep falling off the side of the... Place here. What they're doing with that? We 
welcome to Bird in Paradise. So around here there's 500 species of birds in this little tiny area. It's one of the most biodiverse spots on the planet. And uh, people from all over the world come here to, I guess to bird, whatever that means, you know, to check, see birds, look at birds. Got to see them in, with binoculars and all that. I have no idea. Never, I'm not, I'm not a birder. But uh, I do love birds. Maybe one day I'll get into it. I'll be like, maybe I should start a YouTube birding channel. <laughs> I don't think so. But they're pretty cool. I love hummingbirds. And this is the hummingbird capital of the world. They have more species, more concentration of different kinds of hummingbirds here than anywhere in the world. And I have a very, very close affinity with hummingbirds. I absolutely love them. I've had a few surreal, extremely spiritual experiences with a hummingbird. Um, so they're kind of like, to me, they're one of my spirit animals. Absolutely love them. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, what is that in front of us? Is that pavement? Unbelievable. A lot of, I mean, I, you can pretty much tell it's a pretty touristy little town. Definitely catering to the tourism industry. A little hotel. Hey, there it is, Casca Fesu. Okay. And then my my big f up. Basically, what happened is when I went to cinch down the uh, this stupid pack here that's been running around all over the place. This one here. I undid the back right here, and then the shoes just you know I didn't uh, to reattach them. My bad. My bad. Stupid mistake. I love all the colors. I feel like I'm like in a little gnome village. Look at the little room, how cute it is. I get it all to myself. $42.50 for two nights. Not too bad, 21 bucks a night. Mm -hmm. 